This is Lewis Brackpool for Rebel News, and today I'm with a rising star on the political platform, Mr. Steve Laws. Thank you very much for taking your time out for me. No worries. Thanks for having me on, mate. That's all right. No problem. So, there's a by-election coming up at South End West. Uh, that was in the awake of the tragic murder of Sir David Amos of the Conservative Party. So, may he rest in peace. Steve, can you walk through with me why is it you've decided to take the standing in this uh, in this by-election and what will be your focus? Well, I've stood in this by-election simply because if nobody stands in it, it will be left for a Conservative shoeing candidate to fill in the roles. Although, yes, if that, Sir David Edmess wasn't tragically murdered by an Islamic terrorist, this, this um, by-election wouldn't be happening. But ultimately, the people of South End West need an alternative to the Conservative Party who have betrayed and ultimately let down their voters over the last two years since the last general election. Mm. So ultimately, I've decided to join with UKIP, whose views align with mine, and I'd like to stand there and give the people an alternative. Brilliant. And in terms of your voting audience, what, what do you see is your main, main focus for this by-election? My main focus is to highlight illegal immigration and to show that the Conservative Party have no intention of stopping it whatsoever. No. Continuously, they've just allowed more and more people to come over and ultimately it needs addressing. And if I have to go into Parliament to address it, then that's what I'll try and do. And you've been doing this for a number of years before you decided to take the stand as a candidate. Would you mind running through a bit about your work and what you've been doing? Oh yeah, for the last roughly almost two years, I've been highlighting legal immigration down at the docks. I've seen thousands and thousands of young fighting age men come into the country. I've seen the border force, the RNLI, ferry them in. I've seen mm. beach landings. I've seen illegal immigrants in hotels. I've seen it all from getting delivered uh, Domino's pizzas to kebab shops, delivering them takeaways when they arrive. And the problem, the problem is just exaggerating and it's just getting worse and worse and worse and it just seems to be out of control. And what separates you from other candidates such as Labour and the Conservative Party in general uh, standing in this by-election? Well, ultimately, Labour and Conservative are the same party. So comparing them two against each other is a non-story. But right. what, what I would say is... The fact is, I, I'm going to address immigration, the, the facts that Conservative and Labour Party, they refuse to address it. They refuse to even acknowledge that it's a problem, but it is a massive problem. Both legal and illegal immigration is growing out of control and every normal person in the country is concerned about it, but their voice is not being heard or even aired. And in terms of um, policy with UKIP, in terms for like vaccination mandates and COVID regulations, do you mind me asking where we stand on that? UKIP categorically opposes mandates, ma mandatory vaccines as well as lockdowns and restrictions due to COVID. They want people to be free to be themselves and live their lives as normal. Brilliant. Thank you very much. No worries. I really appreciate that. Thank you. At Rebel News, we are not funded by the big boys. We're actually funded by you, the viewer. So you can now support my honest and real journalism at ukreporters.com and donate whatever you can.